Microsoft Excel 2010 Data Types Data types apply only to numbers, not to text. The data type of a number refers to the way the number has been formatted. For example, this number could be formatted to appear as 45 rand and 50 cents. Data types are changed by formatting the cell. Right-click in the cell and select Format Cells. Move the Format Cells dialog to one side if necessary. The general number data type is for numbers to appear exactly as they were typed in. Change the type to currency and click on OK. Select all the decimal numbers. Right click in any cell and select format cells. Change the data type to number. Change the number of decimal places to 1. Click on OK. Notice that the numbers are stored with the original number of decimal places. They are only shown with one decimal place because they have been formatted that way. Excel recognizes several ways of typing in dates. Type in a date. Click on the Enter button on the formula bar. Notice that the date has been formatted in a particular way. Right click, Format Cells. Select the date format or data type and select a type. Click on OK. This date appears different from this date. It's just the way it's been formatted. Microsoft Excel shows the dates as dates in the formula bar, but what is actually stored is a number. Type the number 1 and click on Enter. Microsoft sees this as day number 1. Select both cells, right click and select Format Cells. Change the data type to General. This is the number of days that have passed since day number 1. Click on the Undo button to undo both actions. Remember that dates are stored as a number of days. Click in the cell to type in a contact number. Start typing 082 and then click on Enter. The zero has been deleted because Excel sees this as a number. To type in a cell phone number, remember that it should be formatted as a text data type. Type an apostrophe and then type 082 and the rest of the number. Click on Enter. The zero now stays because this cell has either been formatted to the general number format or has been formatted as text. No formatting. Format the cell to text, that will give you a cell phone number. Select the next cell. This cell we're going to format before we enter the number. Right click, select Format Cells and change the data type to text. Now type in the number without using the apostrophe. And click on Enter. Because the cell was formatted as text to start with, this is seen as a text and not a number. To type in a time, we're first going to type in 6.0. Delete that. Type 6 colon 0. Click on Enter. The correct way to type in a time is to type a colon between the hours and the minutes. Remember that only numbers can be formatted with data types and the data type format refers to the way the number appears in the worksheet, not the stored number.